I'm with Logan from Collier Arbor Care, Division of Bartlett, and you always teach us something, Logan. So what do you have for us today? Uh, well, today we've got a great example of uh, stem girdling roots. Wow. Or, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, and this is you know more than just that. It, it is a pretty classic um, container-grown tree. Mm. You know, that's a, a tree that's been kept in the container for too long. Too so, long. So you can kind of see this is about the perfect size for what, a, <laughs> about a 15 gallon pot? Yeah, it never yeah. moved out of that space, mm -hmm. did it? Yeah. Um, so when we plant this out in the landscape, you know, because you know, trees don't really have feet and they can't move <laughs> around, you know, these roots are always going to be in that same position. Hmm. So this is going to have pretty serious implications for the tree stability and for the overall tree health. So should we have even planted this one? Well, so when this was planted, it was probably about three years ago, the oh. roots were probably a lot smaller then. Uh, we could have actually done something to, to help prevent some of this, but you know, honestly, if, if I did see this coming out of a container, I, I would have sent it back to the nursery because that, that is a pretty poorly formed root system. And then why else could that happen? Just in a container? Are there other mm -hmm. ways that something uh, like this could occur? Well, a container is the easiest way for it to happen, you know, because it, it does have those, you know, rigid, smooth sides. So once the roots hit the side of the container, it'll just, you know, continue sure. to circle around. But a, another way it can happen is by being planted too deeply in the soil. So roots do need oxygen in order to respirate in the soil. Uh, so if we plant the trees too deeply, the roots are going to start growing upwards in the soil to find that right oxygen content. And because they don't really have a sense of direction, they're just going to branch out because they mm. found that right oxygen content. And that can lead to some stem girdling roots. Uh, the other way that can happen is being planted in uh, too narrow of a hole and, and the roots just kind of hit, hit the side of that, you know, smoothly graded hole and then start circling around like it is in a container. Um, or it could be planted in a, uh, a very compacted soil and, and again, you know, it hits the side of the, of the soil and just starts uh, uh, circling around. Uh, so really good tip. So make sure that you amend your soil with compost, make sure mm -hmm. that hole is big enough and make yep. sure it's at grade and not sunken mm -hmm. below grade. Absolutely. So we're always good planting techniques. Mm -hmm. That's really the main thing you yeah. want to do. Yeah, well, one of the things I do like to describe, you know, when we are planting trees is that root collar needs to be right at the, the, the ground level. So if you kind of picture any kind of drawing of a tree, even a children's drawing of a tree, it's going to have that really Lair. nice zone of taper mm -hmm. before it gets in the ground. So if we see trees that look like utility poles going straight into the that's ground, bad. that's been planted too deep. Yeah. Well, you have another sample in the landscape mm -hmm. and I think that will give us another great visual. So let's go over there. Yeah. Okay. So Logan, you found this plant, this tree that has this girdling root. So what can be done? Um, well, so th it, this is you know not quite girdling yet. It's not embedded into the trunk. So th this is a very proactive approach that we're, that we're going to be taking. So because this is you know seemingly a fairly fairly large diameter root, we are going to excavate out the rest of that root collar, you know, and see approximately how much of the uh, of the you know root zone that it is and then potentially uh, cut part of the root off or or even take it off all the way to here so that this tree you know can grow in diameter and and not be hindered by by that root eventually so as a homeowner i'm calling you you're not going to use spades to do that you have a special yeah. tool yeah we we have a tool called the air spade um, it's very aptly named uh, and it uses compressed air to excavate out all of the soil and leave all the all of those roots intact, so we're not damaging roots by you know digging around with a big metal probe. <laughs> wow! And so, is this a you're going to fix it now this season, or would you possibly have to come back? Uh, potentially, it, you know, depending on what we find below ground, we we might only want to uh, partially remove this this root, you know, because it is still providing a valuable function to, to the tree. It's providing a, a lot of structural stability to the tree and translocating water and nutrients sure. up into the leaves. If you notice a tree on your property with one of these kinds of girdling roots, it's really good to call a certified arborist at Collier Arbor Care, a division of Bartlett, to come out and assess the situation. You can go to gardentime.tv, we'll click you over their website, and really give them a call to find out about the health of your trees. Thanks so much for the information. Thank you, Judy.